Neighbors keep going round and round over the issue of a roundabout. They have the money to do it at a busy Albuquerque intersection, but they could lose the million bucks if they can't agree. News 13 Scott Daniels is live near Rio Grande in Candelaria, Northwest Albuquerque, with the story. Scott? Jessica, the plan is to spend more than $1 million to put a roundabout right here to stop speeders. But others say it'll slow down traffic too much. Is speeding an issue on Rio Grande? Uh, I, there's absolutely no question that speeding is a question today. They can agree on something. That Rio Grande is a racetrack, especially on the weekends. But the neighbors who live along the 35 mile per hour zone can't seem to come together on a planned roundabout at Rio Grande and Candelaria. It's supposed to slow down drivers, including the neighbors who drive these streets every day. Some say it's going to slow down their daily commutes too much. The roundabout is going to momentarily congest traffic at the roundabout itself. But the decision has already been decided. The Rio Grande Boulevard Neighborhood Association wants to take out the stoplights and put in the roundabout so drivers would have to yield. They even got the $1.1 million they needed from the feds, but it's still not a done deal. After a town hall meeting a few weeks ago, more questions were raised and more people brought up different solutions. But those were not paid for, and the roundabout would be. So if the money doesn't go to the roundabout, it goes back to the feds. It is going to be a momentary solution for a very small area. The rest of, of Rio Grande is not going to be seriously affected for the better. By it. The city has done some work on cutting down the speeding. They've added more patrols and traffic studies. Those studies found accidents happened three times more often at Rio Grande and Candelaria than other similar intersections around Albuquerque. Neighbors are also concerned about the proposed idea of breaking down these lanes into one way roads. Councilor Debbie O'Malley, who is a proponent for the roundabout project, says the roundabout is the only firm decision that will be made. Back to you, Jessica. Okay, Scott, there will be another town hall meeting about this project. It is expected to be in a couple of weeks. The last meeting was cut short because so many people were there and the building couldn't hold everyone.